I just got up from my meditation right now. So I'm in some sort of a semi-alert state of mind. And I immediately thought that let me record a quick video because uh, the kind of experience I had right now, uh, or I can say a realization or some sort of a overview. I don't know how to describe it. But uh, when I was meditating, I kind of reminded this particular incidence when in 2016 I met my twin flame Prasad physically face to face it was obviously a very profound meeting and the most profound experience I had in that meeting was that when I hugged him and we were pretty close to each other he kind of had this whole action of putting his hands um, in my hair and the way he caressed my hair. I was resting my head on his lap, actually. And uh, all he was doing is just touching my hair and head with a lot of love. And somehow in my meditation, I just uh, remembered that specific moment. And I realized that all that I have gone through in my journey since I encountered him in 1990 and whatever unfolded after that uh, this meeting where he was actually very lovingly he was stroking my head this incident happened 26 years after our encounter there has been so much that has unfolded in our journey in those 26 years but that meeting was kind of a cherry on the cake of everything because that was the meeting when everything got validated from both the sides. Uh, he acknowledged this connection. He was aware of the connection. He was accepting the connection. He was not running anymore. And he was absolutely aware that this is something completely out of this world. You can't fit it in any sort of a norm or a regulation or a rule book. And it doesn't matter if we are married to each other or not, but we do have this soul connection with each other. He was absolutely understanding that, acknowledging that. And that action that he did, that he stroked my hair with such great acceptance and acknowledgement and that unconditional love that he had in his heart. I think that whole feeling, you know, without even exchanging anything in words with each other, somehow that whole reassurance or that feeling that he had in his heart got transferred to me in those few moments. And it also took me to this particular dream that I had once. And I have even shared that dream in one of my videos. I think uh, in the video which uh, where I talk about twin flames and dreams. That once when we were in separation and I was not knowing where he is and whether he will come back or not. I had this dream that he is stroking my hair with great love. I had also uh, talked about mother's love at that time when I was describing that dream. All I felt was that very kind and caring and nurturing motherly love, actually, very unconditional love from that dream. And I was very surprised because I was in separation. We were not talking to each other. And then suddenly I got this dream. Now, coming back to this incident in 2016, somewhere I can very highly connect with these two things because what happened when we met in 2016 was exactly the uh, same thing that what I saw in my dream. The kind of feeling I had and the kind of situation that he's stroking my hair with love was same. And somewhere I feel that so many people on so many forums on the internet are talking about twin flame intimacy and how it is out of the world experience for twin flames. Um, but somehow... This is just my fresh feeling that I have got up from the meditation that the kind of experience I got only in those few moments and the whole validation and everything. I think I got closure to so many things. I got validated about so many things. I stopped doubting whether he loves me or not. 
I stopped doubting anything and everything. If at all I had any sort of a doubt, I think all that was completely healed in those few moments when he was stroking my hair with that unconditional love. And somewhere I feel that it is way, way, way beyond than even being intimate with him or, um, you know, thinking of uh, union or whatever it is. I think this particular profound moment was way much deeper and pure and divine than any other damn moment I would have expected between us. And somewhere I am so grateful to the divine that I could actually experience that moment. And somewhere I feel that, you know, the way uh, it is said that there is this uh, folk tale of the King Midas who asks God to give him some blessing and he receives this blessing that, that whatever he touches will turn into gold. So that's how this phrase called Midas touch got into the English language, right? That uh, Midas touch is something which turns you into gold or turns something into gold. And somewhere I felt in my meditation today that he's stroking my hair that day was literally like a Midas touch which actually turned my soul into gold. And everything transformed after that. And I think um, our soul mission also unlocked specifically exactly after 15, 20 days because till that time when this whole incident happened, I was not connected to any other twin flame apart from myself and my twin flame. I didn't know anybody who is a twin flame. I had never interacted with anybody who is a twin flame or has been experiencing something very similar like me. But precisely after this meeting we had, there were a lot of activations that took place uh, inside me. And within less than one month, I came to know about a lot of people who were going through the same journey. I got uh, started on Quora and I started sharing uh, my views and uh, I started uh, writing answers on Quora. And I think the kind of confidence that I got uh, to write on Quora and share my experience um, is precisely because this healing happened um, in 2016 in the month of August. That his mere touch, the way he stroked my hair, I mean, yes, we were quite close. We were pretty intimate with each other that time. But if you really see the most highlighted thing in that meeting was he stroking my hair with that unconditional love. And I think somehow I have this inner knowing that that specific thing that took place in those moments have really turned my life into what it is today including my realization, my soul calling, my sharing on Quora or uh, opening this YouTube channel. I mean, imagine that his touch with that amazing love that he had had so much just for a few minutes, but that amazing power that he had, uh, which got activated or unlocked, had such a power to make such a huge shift in my life. And I'm so grateful for that. And it is so interesting to see how um, certain dots keep getting connected in your journey as you progress. There was this another connecting of dot kind of a process that happened today in the meditation. In my book that I have published last year, that is called My Secret Diaries, uh, Contemplations of Love uh, and Life with My Twin Flame. That is a compilation of the journals that I wrote uh, to my twin flame in uh, my teenage uh, and of course the early 20s. So one of the posts which I had written where I was kind of imagining in my journal that what if 
my uh, what if he actually understands what i feel for him and what if he actually embraces this love that i have for him and what if he really holds the same love for me what sort of scenario i will experience and i had just written down whatever came to me while writing that journal and somewhere in the meditation today i had this realization that whatever i had written in that journal it was a very very similar experience i had when i experienced him stroking my hair and uh, i was zapped to connect these two things to each other and i was like oh my god how could i write something so similar which i felt with that specific hair stroking experience and i would obviously like to read it out Uh, because i feel uh, it's a beautiful write up which probably is a download uh, that came to me that time so i'm sure mm, some of you or many of you would be interested in listening to it uh, what i had written in january 1999 about this specific moment that i imagined If you ever understand me I won't be able to hear my own breath Some breath inside me will break away from my body and my body will explode in the sky At that moment I will truly sense what that sky is My body will become as light as feather and at the same time it will throw itself into the wild woods like a heavy stone With your mere touch my human body will emerge again flowers will emanate a divine fragrance and i will feel privileged to be able to breathe and smell my 21 years of life i was 21 years old at that time my 21 years of life will become one big single moment all the energy on this planet will explode and the light will start running through my veins instead of blood i will truly understand what it means when we say krishna becomes radha and radha becomes krishna i will clean my heart space with my own tears and prepare it to welcome you tears of waiting happiness satisfaction and exhaustion how can only two eyes be enough to carry the flooded streams of these tears i will become the beholder of a thousand eyes and my body will flood the energy of the world's entire population will be united in my body i won't be able to sustain such intensity of consciousness and i will enter a state of bliss why only human beings all creations animals planets and trees will merge into me and i will become the bodhi vriksha i will surrender to our alignment life cannot be experienced a second time with such ecstasy and then there will be nothing left to live for we want to live with the feeling that someone wants us when it is realized such a moment takes a form of eternity a moment that is a brief embodiment of eternity that is why when one is touched by love one experiences the divine somehow i just felt that whatever i had written back in 1999 i actually experienced in that small moment when he was stroking my hair uh and this has passed quite a long back but somehow this realization came to me as a very fresh realization and what i really feel like sharing is that many times such moments are given to us by the divine whatever we are asking for or whatever we are truly wishing for but we are so busy in our own emotional drama that we don't even realize that our wish was already fulfilled what we were looking for already came in some or the other format in our experience and i feel that's why it's extremely important to be open and receive what 
the universe is giving us. And somehow I have mixed feelings. Like I feel so grateful. I feel so thankful to the divine to actually show me in my own experience what I had written. But the thing is, I did not realize it that time. And somehow I understand that I was so much indulged in my own emotional drama and what I did not get. Or I did not get things in the form I was expecting them to come to me. But they were already given to me in such a beautiful way. And that is what I realized today in this specific context. So I thought it was worth sharing this experience because many times we keep talking about the big things in the twin flame journey. But I feel that the true beauty of this journey is in such small but profound realizations. I'm also getting these messages that whatever I'm shown, I need to share. So I made this effort to share this experience with you all. I hope someone somewhere needed to hear this or somebody somewhere who is who will watch this video will add some value to themselves or it might help somebody to integrate that unconditional love that they have for their twin flame or the unconditional love that is coming from their twin flame in their heart without any doubt or any hesitation so this is all for today see you in the next video take care bye